Hello guys, it's Lisa Team here, and I'm going to grind for top one, maybe. Um, I don't know if I'll do it. I I might fail, but I'll still try. So I'm currently 11th global and 9th prestige right now. Let me turn off the volume. Um, uh, day one just finished, so this is the second day of my grind. Um, so today three power ups and tier zero are both available, um, but. Sub to PewDiePie, who is a very experienced grinder, he told me free power ups is faster. Um, it's faster wins than tier zero. So, yeah, I'm playing free power ups instead of tier zero. And my strategy that I'm going is um, basically eco choke, super bloom boost, and budget balloons. Um, you might recognize this strategy from a previous video where I play um, Blunaria Swamp using Bolt Farm Wizard and these same powers um, but not all maps has, have water so I am changing up my strategy to Dartling Farm Boomer um, it's probably the best grinding strat so I tried using Dartling Wizard but um, sub to PewDiePie recommended that I use Boomerang instead because it's um, better for defending like an all-out like rainbows it's better than um, Wizard since I can use Turbo Charge, I can use Ricochet for Group Bloons. Right, so I Eco Choke them at 17 seconds. I basically want my opponent to have as little money as possible. Um, this guy is obviously not taking the game very seriously. Um, and yeah, basically I Empty Stall, I Eco Choke, and I Rush them to make sure they have as little money as possible. And then I try to All Out them on Round 13. Um, but this guy looks like he's gonna die on round 3, so that's great. Okay, I, I guess I got a free win. That's nice. Thanks for the free win. Let me say thanks. Um, this might be a boosting account though. Look at that win ratio. Alright, let's go back into free power-ups and maybe we can get like a real game. Let's see, I don't know how long I want to commentate for. Okay, it's 5.10pm right now. So I have grinded for... Right, let's look at the stats again. Um, yeah, so I've grinded 68 wins, 22 losses, 75% um, win ratio. Um, it's kind of low, but... Because I keep losing sometimes, because I'm trying to make the game end as fast as possible, but sometimes I lose unfortunately as a result from being too aggressive um, and I've, I've grinded eight hours um, in the first day it's probably not a lot compared to um, how much more experienced grinders would play let's take a look at the leaderboards um, yeah Seesaw is first place in both global and prestige right now I am slightly behind no I'm very behind at 11th global and 9th prestige. Let's continue grinding. Don't want to fall too far behind. Hopefully in BFB Coliseum I can catch up with them. But they are hardcore grinders. I think they're playing probably like um, 12 or more hours per day. Looks like I faced the uh, same guy. Is he gonna give me another free win? Yo, this isn't, this isn't supposed to happen. I, pr I promise I'm I'm I didn't like hire him to DC to me, but that's what is happening right now, I guess. Um, boosting is not allowed by Ninja Kiwi, I think. But I I don't know. I can't stop him from matching up with me. It's unlucky, I guess. Why did he wait thirty seconds? All right, let's eco choke him. Seventeen seconds. All right, but first I'm gonna place my dartling. I'm gonna anti stall so that the rounds go by as fast as possible. Okay, looks like he might be actually playing for real this time. I might have eco choked slightly too early. Right, let's go send some rids um, to force his triple dart. Don't want him to get his farm. Oh, he's not sending me anything, so I'm just going to uh, keep this 0-0 Dartling. I don't need to upgrade it. He's just spamming farmers. 
Like, what are you doing? I uh, kind of forgot to eco choke. All right, um, farm got nerfed quite hard. Um, it's one thousand two hundred right now, and more bananas cost um, four hundred instead of three hundred fifty. Right, let's send some pinks. He's filling the whole map with farmers, it's kind of funny. But I've got no time to joke around. Eco choke again. Um, so usually if my opponent sends nothing, I still have to get up my 0-1 Dartling on round 7 because on round 7 there is a lot of um, reds and greens inside the AI and a 0-0 Dartling isn't enough to defend. Okay, this guy has eco boost. What's this guy doing? Okay, he got up a uh, leaf ricochet. Let's send some blacks. Um, right, I'm gonna need my zero one one dartling. Can I afford this? Nope. All right. Is he writing an L? Um, he has Bion um, Glaive Ricochet, so I usually would send yellows on round 8, but he already has his Ricochet, so if I send yellows, it's not going to do much. All right, this guy is still playing very passive. I mean, this guy's um, quite obviously not playing seriously, but I'm still gonna commentate as if he is. All right, he's actually sending a rush right now. Let's get this. Hope he doesn't have salted. All oh, right, he has eco boost, not salted wounds. Okay, I'm gonna need my um, bionic boomer. He sent so many sets of yellows. Okay, let's send Camel Lead. He might send me a Camel Lead, but this guy isn't playing seriously, so he probably won't. Okay, let's do Budget Plumes, and I'll send some Camels because um, I want to screw up his um, Glyph Ricochet. And he's dead, I think. Okay. That was a very weird game. I hope I don't face him again uh, for the purposes of this video. Since I want to show you how... I play Dartling and Farm Boomer in a normal game. So I've been playing like this for like 5 hours. Um, I played about 3 hours, then I went to sleep, then uh, woke up at 7am, went for breakfast, and then started my grind. So I'm facing Illusion BTD Industrial Zone. Um, same strategy on every map, I think. Okay, Wizard 4th. It's a good 4th for defending Camel Leads, but he's going to skip it and we have Mountain Pass. Um, this, another common strategy that people use would be um, Darkling Farm Boomer with... Um, what's it? Quick Shot plus Team Tower Sun plus... Glue storm. Yeah, that's quite an annoying strategy to face. Um, quick shot and Teen Tarzan is quite a good combo. All right, so I placed my dartling over here. It's I think it's the best spot. Some people would place it here, but I prefer to put it here, so that if I aim it up, um, it cuts the track like five times, like one, two, three, four, five. Whereas if you put it here, it only hits the track like a few times. Okay, let's send some reds to force this zero one upgrade. Leer it with blues. Yeah, he placed it at the other spot. So he, yeah, he's gonna get his zero one upgrade. Don't know why he is sending that emote.
All right, let's see if he rushes me with pinks or something. No, no rush. Okay. That's fine. So I am basically gonna outfarm him because I have eco choke and because I am greeting by not getting my powerful darts upgrade. Um, I'm gonna eco choke one minute twenty three. Then get my powerful darts. Alright, so this guy has... Oh! The exact combo I was talking about. Um, Glue Storm, Team Tower Stun, and Quick Shot. That's kind of annoying. So the trick with... Um, countering Team Tower Stun Quick Shot is you have to rush them first. Because um, with, with my strategy, my powers, I don't have any um, track powers like Glue Storm, so I can't defend if they decide to rush me. Which is quite annoying. Like if they use Quick Shot and Team Tower Stun, I don't know if this sec uh, if this track is even two seconds long with Quick Shot Rainbows. So I'm definitely not going to defend. So my only hope would be to rush them first. Okay, it's round eight, so I kind of didn't realize it's round eight. So I'm gonna send this. He's gonna get either Glaive Ricochet or, or uh, Bionic Boomer. He decided to go for his Glaive Ricochet and use the Glue Storm as well, um, which is a weird combo. He only needed either one of those, but he used both. Um, okay, he sold his... Oh no, he's gonna quick shot me. Okay, let's make him get his Glyph Ricochet again. Uh oh, he's sending this. Uh, that's annoying. Looks like I'm gonna leak a bit. Um, I intended to get... Uh, yeah, third to your right side, not left side. Okay, so this is what I'm gonna do. Send this. This, get this, and then budget plumes, get, send this, and then I'll basically um, super bloom boost rainbows at him so that. Uh oh, I'm dead first. Who's gonna die? Oh, I won somehow. Okay, that's, that's lucky. Yeah, a lot of these games are down to luck. It's kind of annoying, and I don't really like um, games being decided by like split second rushes like this um, because some people DC glitch and that's really annoying so like some people um, they DC glitch so that um, their phone basically disconnects if you don't know what the DC glitch is um, it's when you're playing with phone you can like um, turn off your phone or press the home button and the game will it's be in like the game will like pause for uh, like 10 seconds and basically if you disconnect just before you're gonna die and then your opponent dies while you're disconnected you get the free win and that's um i think it's a bannable thing to do like if ninja kiwi catches you doing it you can get banned for it i think at least that's what sam told me in 2018 I don't know if that rule still applies now. Okay, I should have re-rolled, re but I was too busy talking. So I have Super Monkey 4, which is quite a useless tower now. Um, I'm kind of surprised they didn't buff it. So they, they buffed Glue, they nerfed Heli and Farm, and Engineer. Alright, let's get this. Eco choke him. I'm also kind of surprised it didn't nerf Eco Choke. It's one of the best sabotage powers. Mm, yeah, so I'm. He doesn't have Eco Choke, so I'm going to out farm him. So this guy has. Oh, he has Glue Storm, Salted, and Damage Boost. That's very annoying. So annoying. But I'm, I'm trying to grind, so even though I'm facing all these annoying strategies, I still have to play. And I still have to try to win. Oh no, and he has tech as his 4th tower. 
That's very annoying. So I, I probably can't kill him on round, round 13. So since he assaulted, I can't leak any lives. Uh oh, am I gonna leak? Alright, I'm not gonna leak anything. But I had to kind of over defend. So maybe we will have about equal money. Nah, I think I'll still be out farming because I have budget balloons. So budget balloons has been nerfed to only two uses. Let's send some blacks. He's gonna send me blacks as well because he's trying to use salted wounds on me. Let's send more blacks. I want him to build a second grape shot. I want him to upgrade this to a grape shot. Okay, done. So I'm not gonna send blacks anymore. Okay, he's just gonna continue because he wants to get my salted wounds. He wants to salt my wounds. But um, this defense is going to quite easily defend blacks. It's not gonna do much. Right, let's send him some yellows, see what he does to this. Uh, he's probably going to either glue storm or get a glaive ricochet. Okay, he got his Glaive Ricochet. I think I'll continue sending Eco. Um, this game will probably go late. So I'm just gonna need um, as much Eco as I can get. But if I think the game is gonna end round 13, then I... I will stop sending once he gets his upgrades. Okay, I might leak. Please don't. Um, okay, I'm gonna sell this, get Bionic Boomer, and you're not gonna get Salted Wounds on me. Man, I should have skipped my 4th tower. Super is such a bad 4th tower in free power-ups. In Bonanza, maybe it's a good 4th tower, but here it's not. Um, thankfully, I have more eco than him. So I have 432. Um, okay, let's send Camel. Let's... Gonna get Camel Detection as well. Should I be rushing him here? He has a glue storm, he has boomer, he has tech. So he's gonna defend any rush pretty easily. That's unfortunate. Um, the good thing is I am out farming him. I have one, um, one plantation more than him and I also have 70 eco more than him. Which is great news. And um, he also doesn't realize I have zero camel, detec uh, camel lead detection. So if I were him, I would send Camelets, but I guess he doesn't notice. Okay, finally he notices. So he's gonna send me Camelets. I'm still one plantation ahead. Um, I'm probably gonna do a small rush, some grouplets to force a boomerang. You're gonna need to upgrade to, to the lead, okay. Um, let's send a bit of camels to basically screw up the boomerang because when the bio, uh, when the what's it called glaive, when the glaive ricochet hits any camel balloons, um, it will immediately disappear. I don't know why, but it just does. So I want my games to end as fast as possible, but this guy is being annoying by um, picking defensive powers. So all three of his powers are defensive. So track, tower, and eagle powers. And that's annoying. I don't know why I got six farms. So I'm out farming him, but he has damage boost and he has glue storm, whereas I don't. Um, okay, I still have budget balloons and super bloom boost though, so maybe it's still even. I think I can get my facility now, but he 
He might rush me. Oh, he got his BIA. His defense is kind of weak, but I can't rush him because he has Glue Storm and Damage Boost. So if I rush him, it's not gonna do much. Okay, he's sending one more web. Um, Monkey Pirates. Alright. Should I just keep this here? Nah. Okay, let's get more farms. Super Monkey is way too expensive. It's not really useful for anything other than Bonanza League game. Alright, round 22. Um, okay, I'll send him a tiny rush. Hopefully a defend. Okay, he used his glue storm. Um, that's his second glue storm. Oh, is he gonna die? Ah, uh, he barely survived. Come on, please die. This game has been going on for 7 minutes already. Almost 8. Um, so he used a damage boost. That his, that's his first damage boost. Okay, I'm out farming him right now. Um, oh, he's sending this. Mm, okay, I'm just gonna turbocharge it. I don't know what that rush was for. A dumb rush. Let's get this. Okay, we've got two maxed facilities. This on last. Maybe I can get um. Glaive Ricochet as well should be helpful. Don't know if my defense is enough. Let's get this. Oh no, please don't leak. Okay, thanks. Don't know if this guy is leaking. Um, maybe I'll rush him round 25, but he will probably get like the turbo charge to defend. So maybe it's not worth it. get this oh no is it enough uh, let's turbocharge I don't want him to get salted wounds okay let's sell this get my third facility maybe I should get glaive lord I don't know Is this a good spot? Mm, Glaive Lord isn't really good against ceramics though. Right, I guess this is a part 2. Um, yeah, reach the maximum file size, which is I think 4 gigabytes. I don't know if this guy can survive an all out from me. It's gonna be very hard for him too. I think I should all out him soon. Maybe now. And I also have budget balloons, so that's gonna help. Okay, let's end this. Let's go all out. This is like seven oh my gods. There's no way he's defending this, right? Even with a ah, I forgot to see super balloon boost. Okay, let's end this. Okay, the balloons are normal price now, so I'll stop sending. Okay, he's gonna counter with Moab, seriously? Big mistake. What are you doing? Let's get this. Turbo charge. What are you doing? Why did you counter with Moabs? Okay, he's countering with BFB, which is slightly smarter, but I have one of the best micro in the world. So it's not gonna be enough, and he's gonna die. But unfortunately, the game took 11 minutes, but 
I had no choice. His powers were all defensive, so, and it was a very long map. So if I tried um, all outing him on round thirteen, I would have lost. And I think a long win is is probably better than a round thirteen loss. Um, I think I'll end the video here. It has been about um, twenty five minutes long, I think. So um, let's look at my stats again. I'm still ninth. But this guy seesaw. He's he has like triple of my points. Did what? Did he clean slate again? That's so funny. Is he gonna clean slate every day? Man, Ninja Kiwi is gonna be very happy with this guy. It's free money. All right, I'll I'll end the I'll end the video here. See you guys.